Hey guys, welcome back to Together We Are Thursdays. Um, today I want to talk about resources for loved ones and also for people who are struggling and haven't yet told anyone. Um, I was in contact with a couple, a team of moms who run like a website called Ask Mom and they put out like informative videos for kids. They want to, you know, different topics that children might go through or adolescents might go through and um, earlier in the week they had done a video on eating disorders and admittedly needed a bit more information so I made a series of videos for them but I just got to thinking that um, I should address that this week because it is a very serious issue like um, EDs are very isolating and especially when you're young or if you're in adolescence Reaching out to parents or any adult can be really difficult. So I thought I would talk about, I gave them some advice and I thought I would share it here as well on the channel because I know um, a lot of the girls on the team are um, in adolescence or just out of it and also probably a lot of the people who watch our videos. So two of the two resources that I found that I really loved when I was looking at what can people do um, if there's a loved one with an eating disorder and also if, we, if somebody is suffering personally but has not yet come forward, they're dealing with it on their own. I'm just going to pull up this website, um, www.bulimia.com. This actually is a publisher's website and they put out two different um, books about eating disorders and self-help type subjects um, a year. They're like a small publishing company. And it's not just for bulimia, this is like all eating disorders. Um, and a lot of these resources are like self-therapy, like workbooks you can do on your own. So I would definitely check this site out. I'm just looking like at some of the titles here. Um, the Rules of Normal Eating, um, Women, Food, and God, The Body Image Workbook, Finding Your Voice Through Creativity, The Parent's Guide to Eating Disorders, 50 Ways to Soothe Yourself Without Food, The Food Feelings Workbook, Goodbye Ed, Hello Me, Anatomy of a Food Addiction. I mean, there's a ton of different books. This is Gers Books, G-U-R-Z-E Books. Um, and they say a publishing company specializing in resources for eating disorders recovery. We offer a bookstore of over 300 hand-picked titles, hundreds of articles, a therapist directory, listing of national organization and treatment centers, and much more. If you have any questions, feel free to call directly. So this is a really great resource both for loved ones and for those who are suffering personally. Um, whether or not you have support for your ED, this could be a really useful resource. Um, and also, this website that I found as well, and I'll put more info in the links, or in the section down below. I found this site and I absolutely love it. This is from helpguide.org. Um, and the title of this article is Helping Someone with an Eating Disorder advice for parents, family members, and friends. And I thought this was really great. I did a lot of research um, for the Ask Mom Women. And um, when I first Googled this, the information that came up, like if you type in how to help a loved one with an eating disorder, the first thing that came up was from this women's site 10 ways you can help a loved one suffering from anorexia or, you know, a woman in your life. And some of the tips were good, but a lot of them were concerning, so I didn't particularly like that. But this site, um, also, if you want more information, there's a two-part series I did. It's called Comprehensive Eating Disorder Statistics, and then something else in the title about, like, helping a loved one or helping yourself with an ED. And they're kind of long. So I didn't want to put them up on Together We Are. I thought I'd do another one just talking about it. But um, 
if you want more information, they I go a lot more in depth in those two videos. There's like a part one and a part two. So this site is so good. The helpguide.org it is um under mental and emotional health. Like I said, I'll put links. So they cover understanding eating disorders, types of eating disorders, warning signs, helping a person with an ED, treatments, take care of yourself, and related links. One of the best features on here that they have, which I really loved, was myths about eating disorders. These are so true, and um, they were talking about myth number one you have to be underweight to have an eating disorder this is such a misconception and i'm really glad that they addressed this um, people with eating disorders come in all shapes and sizes many individuals with eating disorders are of average weight or overweight very true you don't have to be sick then to be sick um, myth number two only teenage girls and young women are affected by eating disorders while eating disorders are most common in young women in their teens and early 20s, they are found in men and women of all ages. Myth number three. Three and four are really important too. Myth number three, people with eating disorders are vain. I am so glad they addressed this. This is one of those things that isn't talked about enough. It is not vanity that drives people with eating disorders to follow extreme diets and obsess over their bodies, but rather an attempt to deal with feelings of shame, anxiety, and powerlessness. So yeah, A plus to this, like, myths list. Um, lately, a lot of the PSAs that I've seen, or a lot of the eating disorder um, awareness advocacy groups and commercials and that, focus primarily on, okay, it's the media, supermodels, celebrities, this is what people are striving for. And while I agree that the media has a lot of influence on women's self-esteem and the diet industry and all of that, unfortunately, this kind of campaigning enforces, reinforces or instills the misconception that people who develop eating disorders are vain and shallow and just want to be pretty or get that boyfriend or lose a couple pounds to fit better in the dress for some event or I mean this is a huge stereotype and I think it's one of the reasons that we don't get a lot of respect or legitimate compassion because they think that this is a vain and shallow endeavor and I said in the other videos I'll say it here as well I have never met anyone with an ED who started this because they just wanted to be pretty so um or, you know, more well liked or look like certain celebrity. I've never met a sufferer like that. If you're one, let me know. I'd like to know if anybody actually that is their impetus. Um, myth number four, eating disorders are, are re aren't really that dangerous. Very important. All eating disorders can lead to irreversible and even life-threatening health problems such as heart disease, bone loss, stunted growth, infertility, and kidney damage um yeah that's good but it's kind of a short list if you guys want more information also let me know because i was thinking of doing um a series on like going into more medical aspects of complications if you guys are interested let me know um and i think i'll do one like a whole video on the complications because while we hear some of them we might not know exactly what they mean what their impact is or what can help so if you want more info on that let me know and i would be happy to share so again i'll put links down in the description i hope everybody's well um it's cold and rainy here and i'm really struggling with my seasonal affective disorder we're getting an early cold front and they said we might even get snow this month this year which would just devastate me so i'm hanging in there i hope all of you guys are well i look forward to seeing um, videos up from the other girls on the channel and also you viewers if there's anything we can help you with let us know we're here for you okay much love to everyone be well precious ones see you next week